up by his jaw, it's breaking their jaws. So that's actually the proper way to hold one of the bigger fish that we get. It's a hard habit to break, but good. This is his first time getting a trophy with us today with a weight of 3.44, Mr. Sam Scheidt. Where you at, Sam? Huh? Hey, bud. First trophy? Congratulations, man. Let's, wait a minute. Yeah, just kind of hang out out here. We'll take a picture with everybody, all right? Well, wait a minute. We're going to talk a minute. Tell me what you caught all your fish on. Oh, a Seiko. On a Seiko. All right, good job. Hang out right over here, and we'll take a picture when we get everybody together. In second place, with a weight of 3.75, Mr. Bobby Bakewell. Bobby probably cut all his fish on a flipping stick, a Fitzgerald flipping stick. Two of them. Two out of three. Good job, Bobby. Thank you, man. Just hang out. We'll shoot a picture here in just a minute. All right, in first place, I probably have to go check the tape recording on this because I'm not sure. In first place, with a weight of 10.90, and a big fish is 6.17, Mr. Jake Hutchison. Hey, that's got to put a smile on your face when you do that. Let me give you that. Just hang out right here and we'll shoot a picture and we can get everybody together. Er. What's up guys, Jake here. And today I'm going to be recapping my tournament on the Butler chain. I won and got big bass. I had like 10.9 pounds and then a 6.7 6.17 pounder and uh yeah it was a all right day it was really cold and windy but pulled through and uh i had started out at one spot and we couldn't go to our first spot that we wanted to go to because there was another boat sitting on it but it turned out good because we went to their second spot on the same lake that was in lake down and i caught my limit there and i caught a six pounder there and the whole day, what I was doing, at first we started out fishing a grass line, like throwing up to it, and uh, with a Texas rig speed worm with like a eighth ounce tungsten or quarter ounce tungsten, and a bobber stopper. This is a Zoom watermelon red speed worm. Yeah, and we would throw it up there to the grass line and let it sink. You go, you got to go slow, and you would just drag it back and pop through the grass and I didn't get many doing that but then we saw some schooling fish went over to them we started drifting and then I just started throwing out in open water and I caught my first keeper or no I didn't catch a keeper I caught a short fish then we started doing that like 20 yards off the grass line and started throwing parallel with the grass line and then we started catching fish and by about at 9 o'clock I caught the 6 pounder I had 3 fish and then I caught a 6 pounder so I had 4 fish and then at 10 o'clock, or by 10 o'clock, I had my limit. So, and then after that, after 10 o'clock, when I got my limit, it kind of shut off for me until about um, 12.30. And I got, we went, we ran to, we ran to Butler. It was insanely windy. Couldn't fish at all. So then we ran, ran to the launch, where the launch was on Lake Sheen, had the private launch place. And we fished the opposite side of the launch on the lake. And I called one out that probably helped me for about half a pound. And I also caught on the speed worm. I literally never put it down. I picked up a fluke for like two casts, but it was just too windy. I used this the whole day. And this reel and rod I'm using 
It's a Kistler Magnesium TS. And it's 7.3, medium heavy. Um, extra fast action. And a lose BB1 speed spool. And it's like 7 1 1 gear ratio. And I have 15 pounds cigar fluorocarbon on here. So yeah, that was how my day went. I won for my for Orange County. This was a TSA tournament. I won for Orange County and Big Bass for Orange County. And then there was three counties in this tournament. And I they don't they don't count this, but I got I pretty much won like overall too. Like I won. I had bigger fish and more weight than any one from any other counties. So yeah. So my day went pretty well. Um, it's cold and windy, but it pulled through. When it stays like that, when it's a cold front, you gotta go slow. Just remember that. Just go super slow. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope this can help you out. Maybe if you're fishing Butler or Chain, like down. Yeah, comment, like, subscribe. Here's my cat.